Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a moving part, like this green platform right here, that would carry the player on top of it while it's moving. To make a moving part in Roblox is fairly simple. For example, here I have a part named Part Test, the yellow part here. And I have a script that would take the part up and down. The part is going to move vertically up and down, and that would carry the player up and down. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to go to my yellow platform, and we're just going to wait for a few seconds. And you can see the part moves up and down, and it carries the player on top of it. Now, on the other hand, if you want the part to move horizontally, it's a different story. Let's say if we're going to move this part instead of up and down, we're going to move it horizontally. So I'm going to change this to negative 0.1, change the Y to 0. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to change this one to 0.1. And we're going to change the Y component to 0. Let's play it again and take a look. This time, this platform is going to move horizontally. So let me go and hop on my yellow test platform here. And you can see it moves horizontally, but it drops the player. The player does not go with the platform. Unless if I run on top of the platform, I'm going to fall down. Today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a platform like this one right here that would carry the player on top of it and I'm not going to fall down when it moves. To make a part that can move horizontally and have the player moving with the part, what we're going to do is instead of changing the position of the part, we're going to use a constraint called Align Position. And with Align Position, you can specify where you want the part to move to and when it moves, it's going to carry the player on top of it. In your game, go ahead and add a part to your game. It's a regular part. This is my part right here. And now we're going to add a script to move that part. So let's go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. You can name your script moving script. And in your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my part. So my part, again, is this part right here. It's the green part. When I start the game, my part is going to move to the from position. And then it's going to move to the to position. And I want it to move back and forth between the from position and the to position. So basically, my from position is the position of the part minus 30 units in the x component. And my two position is the position of the, the part plus 30 units in the X component. As I have mentioned before, we're going to use align position constraint to move this part. So we're going to declare local align position equals to instance dot new. So we're creating a new align position object. We're going to look for align position. And we're putting this object inside the part. So here we're going to say part. The align position constraint also going to need an attachment. So we're going to add an attachment here. We're going to say local attachment equals to, we're creating a new attachment instance dot new. And again, we're creating a new attachment. And the attachment is also going to go under the part. So, so far we have created the align position constraint and the attachment under this part right here. The align position has a property called mode. So we're going to say align position dot mode. We're going to set it equals to enum dot position alignment mode dot so our mode has two options the default is two attachment we're going to use one attachment 
So now we have to set our attachment zero of the align position to our attachment. So we're going to say align position dot attachment zero equals to our attachment, which is our attachment up here. All right, and as I have mentioned before, the align position, you can specify the speed, how fast it's going to go. So we're going to say align position dot max velocity equals to 15. So we're kind of slowing it down from the default velocity. We're going to put all this inside a big infinite loop. So in your code, just enter the following lines. Here is my infinite loop. And basically, I'm moving my part from its current position to the from position that we have defined up here. So the from position is just 30 studs away from the original position. And I'm giving it the height of 5 units. After that, we're going to wait for 5 seconds, and then we're going to move it to the 2 position. This is the 2 position. So it's 30 units in the opposite direction with the height of five units and then we're gonna wait for five seconds and we're repeating this process over and over again I'm also gonna insert a task weight in here to give me some time to get to the platform so I'm gonna say task weight of eight seconds and now let's play and take a look so there is my green platform I'm gonna hop on it and now it's moving. And you can see I'm standing on top of the platform and it's moving, it's taking me with it. Now, just one thing I wanna point out here is this platform, if I go and I knock it, it's gonna go haywire. So let's wait for it to move and I'm gonna knock it. You can see it's going all over the place now and there's no way for me to get it back to the way it was before. So if that's what you want in your game, like to make it more challenging, like the player has to hop on it cleanly, otherwise the platform is going to go haywire and it's going to be very tough to use the platform after that. So that could make your game more challenging. On the other hand, if you do not want your platform to be so unstable, we can do this. We can add another constraint to this part. The constraint is called align orientation. So we're going to say local align orientation equals to instance.new. We're creating a new object. A new align orientation object and we're going to parent it to the part same as before we're going to set the attachment and the alignment mode so we're going to copy this and we'll paste it down here so here we're going to have align orientation dot mode equals to enum orientation alignment mode one attachment and here is again align orientation dot attachment zero equals to our attachment so we're using the same attachment for both the aligned position and align orientation and I'm also going to remove this task weight here because with the align orientation I don't need the platform to stay still anymore I can hop on it at any time without the fear of disturbing it. So you can see I can go and knock the platform. It's not gonna go haywire. And let me see if I can jump on it. There it goes. You can see it got disturbed a little bit, but then it straightened itself because we have the align orientation. Let me try and knock it again. See if I can knock it over. Nothing's doing. I cannot displace that platform it's very steady now all right guys so that's basically how you make a moving platform in roblox that would carry the player on top of it um 
Now, for those of you who are still a little confused, I want to give you more details on how uh, the, all these things work so that it would make things clearer. So basically, if you go to your model menu tab, you're going to see a section called constraints. And if you click on constraints, click on the down arrow in the create button, you're going to see down here there is an align position, align orientation, and down here we have the attachment. So that's what we created using scripts. First we created the align position under the part and then we created the attachment and to keep the board steady where we added the align orientation. Now you could have done all that manually inside studio here. So for example, if I have a part here, right? My part is this one right here is the green part. I could have just clicked on the plus sign here and add a line position. And also I'm going to add the attachment. Right, so now I have align position and the attachment and you have to go to the align position and set all the properties like we did in the script. So let, let's see what we did in the script. We set the, um, we set the mood, we set the attachment and we set the velocity. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to set the mood, click on the mood here. You can see the default is two attachment. We're going to select one attachment as we did in the code, right? One attachment. And then we're going to go to the attachment attachment zero here and we're going to click on it and we're going to select which attachment goes here so i'm going to select the attachment that we have created here select that it goes in here automatically and next thing we're going to set the max velocity the default is infinity we're going to set it to 15 to slow it down as for the align orientation we're going to go back to the part we're going to add a line orientation and then click on the align orientation and then we're going to have to do the same setting here so we're going to say move is one attachment and attachment zero click on it and select attachment here the same attachment that we have selected for the align position and now that we did all those manually we could just go and remove all these code all from the script all these lines here we no longer need to create the aligned position. We no longer need to create the attachment. We already set all these properties manually. We no longer need to create the align orientation and we have set all these properties manually. We can delete them all. And this should still work. Let's take a look. There's my green platform and I'm gonna try and knock it. It's very steady. I'm on top of it. Whoop, I'm sliding. But still, it's very steady. As you can see, it's moving with the player on top of it. Guys, that's how you make a moving platform that carries the player in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care.